Hi guys. It is a hot, sticky, muggy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the Austin, Texas. Good Lord. Where, I guess, when is it? In a couple of days, triple digits in Austin, Texas in the first week of May. And uh, so right now it is Thursday, maybe May 4th. 2022 somewhere around there and the little dog and I I think cross our fingers are going to be going to get my little trailer out of the scrap yard today so we can get back to New York baby next week but speaking of uh, traveling uh, <laughs> now guys I don't want you to think that Collapse Chronicles is turning into some wacky space alien channel uh this article from today's mainstream media yahoo news from the telegraph i think over there in england this has virtually nothing to do with space aliens and pretty much everything to do with earthlings uh, for those of you who have or have not heard of fermi's paradox F-E-R-M-I, Fermi's Paradox. Uh, this is a great uh, introduction to Fermi's Paradox. And I'm on the fence about this. Uh, there's no way to prove Fermi's Paradox, but it is an interesting one, and it has a lot to say about the state of our own planet. So we're going to see what uh, the Telegraph has to say. <coughs> There is a reason why aliens have not visited Earth yet, say scientists. For the people uh, who believe aliens have visited Earth, of course. Anyway, we're not going to talk about those people. We're going to talk about the people who do not believe aliens have visited Earth. <clears throat> the Fermi Paradox questions why aliens have never visited Earth. Despite the universe being so old and so vast that races should have evolved interstellar travel and come calling by now. Now two scientists believe they may have the answer. Astrobiologist Dr. Michael Wong of the Carnegie Institute for Science in Washington and Dr. Stuart Bartlett of the California Institute of Technology <coughs> have hypothesized, although I think others, but I think this hypothesis has been around for years, <coughs> that civilizations burn out when they grow too large and technical, faced with an ever-growing population and eye-watering energy consumption, worlds hit a crisis point known as a singularity where innovations can no longer keep up with demand. And then uh, next to this, there's an ad from Google Fiber with this uh, clueless moron and his virtual reality glasses. Yes, about uh, where innovations can no longer keep up with demand. <clears throat> the only alternative to collapse is to abandon unyielding growth and adopt a balance that allows survival but prevents the society moving any further forward or venturing far from its own spot in the universe. Yes. Writing in the Royal Society <clears throat> Open Science, Dr. Wong and Dr. Bartlett said, quote, we propose a new resolution to the Fermi's, to the Fermi paradox. Okay, we have a resolution. Civilizations either collapse from burnout or they redirect themselves to prioritizing homeostasis 
a state where cosmic expansion is no longer a goal, making them difficult to detect remotely. <coughs> Either outcome, homeostatic awakening or civilization collapse would be consistent with the observed absence of galactic-wide civilizations." Close quote. The pair argue that the general principles of life are universal and that although the emergence and evolution of life on other planets remains speculative, it may be inevitable. Once on the path, life is likely to follow a similar trajectory to the civilizations of Earth, meaning our global industrial civilization, eventually organizing into a globally connected state with technology that needs increasing amounts of energy to maintain growth using city growth equations which sets limits on how far societies can scale up, the experts show how large civilizations eventually hit crisis points, which, once recognized, causes a halt in further growth. Uh, now, I would argue that not recognizing it uh, would cause a halt in further growth. Uh, because there are a few people out here who do recognize it and are continuing to participate in it, such as yours truly. Uh, I think it's going to, I think this is a flaw in their hypothesis that uh, civilizations, this is the Sam Mitchell paradox, how large civilizations eventually hit crisis points such as the crisis point we're in in 2022, when not recognized causes a halt in further growth, otherwise slamming into a brick wall at 167,000 miles an hour. <clears throat> okay, the pair point to similar mini awakenings on Earth which have prevented global crises, and this is the this is the knee slapper of the. I, I don't know when this uh, story was written. At. I think it just came out. This is not. A, 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 anyway, I'm just going to read it. <clears throat> which, uh, as such as this is a mini awakening, such as the de-escalation of weapons of mass destruction since the Cold War. Mm -hmm. and the ban on chlorofluorocarbons to mend the hole in the ozone layer. However, alien civilizations, however, alien civilizations which are close to burnout, such as our domestic civilization, which is close to burnout, may be the most easy to detect, according to the research, because they would be using energy in a, quote, wildly unsustainable manner, <clears throat> which would provide a good signal emanating from their world, quoting the, uh, <clears throat> their thesis, quote, this presents the possibility that a good many of humanity's initial detections of extraterrestrial life may be of the intelligent, though not yet wise, kind. They conclude, yes. <clears throat> Previous suggestions for why intelligent aliens have not already visited Earth include the discovery of a physical difficulty which makes space travel infeasible, hmm, whether related to astronomy, biology, or engineering. Some scientists 
have suggested that aliens have simply never chosen to visit us, or if they have, we have not noticed, perhaps arriving before humans had evolved. I am not going to go through, obviously, the uh, tsunami of uh, information about how aliens have been visiting us and are visiting us. We're not going to turn Collapse Chronicles into that. Uh, yes, it is also possible that advanced civilizations arose too recently and too far away for aliens to have reached us. Yet, in 2015, scientists analyzing data from the Hubble and Kepler space telescopes concluded that around 92% of potentially habitable worlds did not exist when Earth formed, so it may be that our solar system is simply ahead of the game. And uh, anyway, so we have 115 comments showing up on this. Uh, on this, let's check out, uh, let's see, uh, good lord, I mean, people are, and it, it, it's not a bunch of UFO wackos, uh, joining in here, uh, Okay, we're just going to read, uh, we're going to read from PKT and the response to him. I don't know if PKT is a, uh, a listener to Collapse Chronicles. Take it away, PKT. The civilization collapse theory works for me considering how close we are to our own demise. Climate change, nuclear threat, population pressures, which of course is the reason for climate change and nuclear threat, dwindling resources, new viruses, and the inevitable mass migrations as millions leave drought or flood-stricken areas in order to survive. History is replete with civilizations that reached heights and then collapsed due to war or changing climate conditions. Why should we be any different than our predecessors? We will be lucky to reach the homeostasis point. And uh, seriously uh, responds to PKT, <laughs> I'll bet those civilizations are constrained by grant conformity where the scientist can only say what their government will allow. They are probably all stuck preaching about things that don't exist for political control also. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh... I think that says, uh, I have an idea that says a lot more about our own blue planet uh, civilization reaching a crisis point. There is no way we are going to voluntarily reach a homeostasis point. Okay, it ain't going to happen. Uh, every iota of evidence is pointing to a civilizational collapse and let's only hope and pray that it will come and it will come before we start taking uh, our own virus model out uh, beyond this planet and take it to another planet another solar system to destroy but I think it's pretty safe to say that we're going to be gone uh, before we take this model 
this model out of here. But anyway, speaking of uh, getting out and uh, heading out into the universe, I uh, got to call this trailer repair place and put some pressure on them to get my little trailer out of Hawk so uh, I can travel to the uh, other planet from Texas called New York, baby. I highly suggest you get out there and find another planet to travel to ASAP while you still can. Bye, guys.